Hi there, it's Rob from Octopus. Welcome to another Octopus Deep Dive, where we explore a specific topic related to Octopus Deploy. Today we're going to look at Microsoft Azure Active Directory registered applications and how they work with Octopus accounts, as they can be a bit tricky to set up. Let's get started. I have a local Octopus instance running, and I'm currently looking at my accounts page, which is part of our infrastructure. So I have a single Azure subscription called Azure Developer Playground. If we take a look at that, we can see there's four values that we have to supply to integrate with Azure and work with it safely and securely. We're going to walk through how to obtain these values, because if you take a look, three are GUIDs and one is a password. So it's not immediately obvious. There's four values we need to find or set within the Azure portal. The first is our Azure subscription ID. And the second is our Azure Active Directory tenant ID. And the final two are our registered application IDs within Azure Active Directory. One is the application ID and the other is the application password or sometimes called a key. Before we head over to the Azure portal, I just want to highlight that there is some great documentation on Microsoft's site on integrating with Azure and Azure Active Directory. So I'll include the links in the description below, but there's some great resources available if you want to dig deeper. First up is the Azure subscription ID. When you sign up to Azure, you create at least one subscription to get started. Every resource that you work with must be associated with one subscription so that the billing for that item can be processed. To find your subscription ID, head over to the subscriptions service and it lists all your subscriptions and the IDs associated with them. Your subscription ID is listed in this table and you can copy it directly from there or copy it from the details page. Next up is our Azure tenant ID or Azure Active Directory ID. Now, both of these terms equate to the same thing, a GUID representing your Active Directory tenant. To find this, simply head over to Azure Active Directory and then navigate to the properties and your directory ID is your Azure tenant ID. Just copy that and make note of it. Finally, let's find or create an Azure Active Directory registered application and we'll retrieve its ID and set a password. To do this, we navigate back to Azure Active Directory again and we take a look at app registrations. If you don't see any registrations, simply click view all applications. Now I have two here. So what I could do is just navigate to the application and find its values. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a new application registration and go from there. So I'll go ahead and create a new application registration. I'm going to give it a name and I'll just call it Octopus Integration. And I'm going to go with the default that I'm integrating a web app or an API. There's another option of native and you can select that if it's appropriate. So now I'll enter my sign on URL. This is the URL where your users sign in and use your app. So I'll just paste mine in and now I'll click create. Your application ID will appear here. Now I'm going to navigate to the settings because I want to set a password for this application. To do that, I select keys and now I will create a password. To do that, I just enter a description. So this is for Octopus Deploy. The duration, I'm gonna say it'll expire in one year. And now the value will appear once I click save. So now that that's done, you can see my password here. I can copy that and make note of it. So now I've been able to access both my registered application ID and password. So that's it. I've found or set all the values that I need. So now I can head back to Octopus and update all my values here. If I didn't already have an account, I can go ahead and create it. And the final step, we can just click save and test and Octopus verifies the account details and everything looks good. So from this point forward, 
we can easily integrate with Octopus. So that's a look at Octopus accounts and Azure integration via Azure Active Directory registered applications. This is valuable not only for Octopus, but also for use in your own applications and services. Thanks for watching. Links for all the resources used in this video are in the description below, including a link to start a free 45 day trial of Octopus Deploy. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we're adding new videos weekly. Happy deployments.